right, this is a 24 foot wall ridge for sale. Um, we've owned it since 2009 and only had one other owner. He uh, bought it in 2007. Um, you can see here, I mean, the thing's pretty, pretty good. Uh, Mackie, you don't see any big nicks or scratches and we've been super careful with it since we've owned it in 2009. Um, pretty much all the other scratches from the previous guy, but we'll just leave that at that. Uh, you got the custom bow rails. There's a huge point. You notice these bow rails are 24 inches in, in uh, height, and they're really nice compared if you see the stock ones. The stock ones, I think, are maybe 12 inches only about here, and they only run from here to here. So this is a really nice feature we really like. You got the, you know, the Lumar uh, anchor with the winch, and it's the claw type, better than the other. Uh, you got HIDs, custom uh, radar arch, and um, the radar. And then uh, I guess you know you got spare tire, nice easy loader, galvanized trailer. The thing is super easy to load. We can do it under five minutes. Um, just two people. You just pull it out of the water, line it up here. We just for ourselves we put a little paint marker there. You just hold it there, pulls out of the water easy. LED uh, trailer lights, um, oil bath uh, hubs, which is a huge um, bonus if you know about trailers. And then uh, I'll just kind of touch on some of the back. You got your your uh, shrimp pot puller here. You got a couple um, sunken pull holders. They're really nice that I added. Uh, the two motors, the Yamaha 115s. These things are bulletproof. They're you can hardly you can not maintain them. They'd be fine basically. But we uh, we change out the gear oil regularly and have it serviced regularly. Summer or winterized. And uh, just had it all checked over by Maria Sienski. They lubed everything up, checked it all, everything looks good. Um, just told us to keep adding the uh, Yamaha ring free to the fuel to help with any buildup and to try to idle it less, which I think they say everyone has that problem with. But we haven't trolled with this, we haven't gotten a lot of trolling hours. So the only idling is like in port and uh, whatnot. And then uh, the dinghy that'll come with it. This little Sebo dinghy. It's got the oars here. It's got a seat. You can hop in. You know, it's it's a life raft, so it's not. It's easy to get to shore without Prince William Sound. You get plenty of gear, plenty of people, and then uh, getting in. I mean, this thing's really easy. So in the back, one of the features I want to point out is this is one of my favorite spots right here, and uh, we'll show it later. Hopefully, the sun's not blocking too much, but. It's a really nice cutting board. I'm 6'1", 6 6'2", 6 and this is a perfect height for me. My mom's a lot shorter. It works great for her. Um, just got you know knife ready to go to your, your uh, bait and station. For us, this is not self bailing and I'm actually going to miss that with our, our new boat because I can reach down, and about here is water level, and pull out a fish. I put them on the table real quick. I got measurements of how big the fish is, how much it weighs. Then you just set it back. You don't gotta gap, um, gap them or you know handle them too much. In and out. You got wash down. Two options. I have it set up to come out the back. You can also have it come out this nice uh, live well. So it's a real big live well. Here's the hose and all that you can hook up. Um, huge live well. But yeah, this custom cutting board is awesome. And then like I said, you got the shrimp pot puller. You got some rod holders here another power point for either uh, downrigger or uh, we got a guy that likes to use electric wheel so he uses that this does have a trickle charger this is this cable's going to it's got another flush mount pole holder and uh, like I said 6162 this cover is great um, I don't have to crouch or anything all the time even if you're all the way to the very side I don't have to crouch and my view is barely obstructed most people it works out well for them and your covered majority of the deck is super nice and for us with the uh, since there's no this is the only live well that we use this garbage can so we're gonna keep this can but just as an example this is uh, what we've done we'll catch the halibut or salmon or whatever we'll put them in here gill them keeps all the blood guts and stuff in the can pull the can out keeps everything in here clean you barely get any slime in here only when you drop a fish from time to time but yeah for the most part we've kept this thing um, nice and clean doesn't stink like a fishing boat and we clean it every uh, trip and uh, we'll go inside 
and look at some other features. Last one is I added some Dually D2 rigid. If you know LEDs, you know that's the top dog. And uh, so these are great if you're ever out late at Prince William Sound or whatever. They're, uh, they're really good LEDs. So we'll go inside and continue from there. All right, yeah, here's some side storage here. Uh, the other one's cleaned out. This is a bunch of stuff I'm going to send with the boat. But you can see we put stable in it. We got the gear pump oil, rod holders, extra uh, uh, windshield wipers. It does have side uh, coverings. I forgot for this overhead. The side coverings come all the way down to right here. So this whole side from here to here is covered if you want, blocked from wind. So that's a really nice feature. And just another look inside this, this live well here. You see it's a big old live well. I mean, there's a sheet of paper. Looks small in there, right? So lots of space. Other option for the wash down, you can have it come and leave it in there, but I prefer to go back. And then I just got a little latch to keep it from flipping. We'll go inside. There's more pole holders right here. Trickle charger. So, all right, so here's the inside, and uh, it's a really nice setup. I really like it. You got the table set up. This flips forward to have two people at seats. I forgot the seat off, but you can look in here. You can see there's tons of storage. I mean, once again, I mean, there's a sheet of paper. The thing is huge. Um, the seat goes right up on it. And uh, it's really easy to sit forward when you're driving. You flip this forward. It's really nice. This comes down, makes a bed. Um, got all LED lights inside. These ones came LED. These ones I added in here and then upgraded these to LED. Uh, you got a drop down LCD screen, a DVD player, marine grade speakers. Here's the switch for the for the auxiliary so you can plug in your phone or mp3 player or whatever um oh oops all right that's the uh carbon monoxide detector it's there running there's a little test uh you got the uh main gps full backup flush mounted gps here's all the instrumentation the autopilot the uh i can't remember what it is kvh heading sensors right here so it knows where you're heading even if you're not driving um the uh, outboard controls, all this stuff like the fans and the wash down, I have it labeled. So it's got an extra fan we added on this side, or, or he added. Uh, radio, HID switches. This is a whole book full of the uh, manuals I have in a bag here. So when you're out, see you got manuals. Um, you can pull start one of these motors. I did have to do it one time because the guy had a little electrical this but got that all sorted out and you, you can pull it this is all under here there's a lot of storage under here you get the kerosene for the heaters you got the water tank this is the uh the pull start for the yamaha if you need it pot holder extra spare uh fuses this heater this is i'm trying to remember how much 4500 btu wallace stove i just have this foam here for travel you cook on it you flip it down this will blow the heat out you got the sink here it works really well got extra aluminum storage added it's got the pro sport battery charger in the corner over there and then right here i forgot to point out you got a toyo cabin heater that right there is almost 10,000 btus itself under here there's a bunch of storage huge storage i mean i got these containers they go way back there lots of storage here this storage goes way underneath too I mean, it goes way, way, way back, all the way up to right here. And uh, added in a cubby to get to access the storage there. More storage under here. Lots of storage. So here's a nice sleeping area up here. Easily sleep two people. You can sleep three people if they're friendly. Um, had me, my brother, and my cousin one time. We got a toilet. It does have a, a stainless steel quarter turn valve that you can have shut if you're ever worried but uh, it takes seawater straight in and straight out. There's no holding tank, no mess, no nothing. Um, there's lots of storage underneath both sides. I mean, I can open up, you got storage, you got more storage. So the thing's awesome. You got front access through the port there. And uh, the windows are all real nice. You got this here. One thing I will say from the previous owner though, just full disclosure, is he did break this other window and we've always used this little suction cup deal to open and close it. it hasn't been a problem. 
Um, we were looking into replacing it, but just never bothered us enough to replace it. So that's one. That's about the only thing I can think of that I was going to upgrade that I didn't. And uh, the, like I said, the wipers and all that are extra. Never needed them. And that's all I got right now. All right, so yeah, I mentioned in the ad, you know, this is a, a huge package for a 24-foot boat. Um, you know, there's you couldn't really cram anything more in here, but it's 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 all in here, kind of out of the way. It's still plenty of room to store stuff and bring people. Um, I forgot to mention, you know, there's a fridge down there, the horn um, below here, so it doesn't have that cushion ride seat, but I ride just like the passengers, and the thing rides great. It's a great boat. Um, it does have trim tabs and uh, they, they can smooth it out if you're in some choppy water so it's got all these great upgrades um, and uh, we did two thousand dollars worth of, of work mainly because fixing this heater the Wallace heater they get a new fuel pump and a pipe put in so that thing's basically like new now uh, you know obviously the things registered ready to go till 18 but you'll have to take that over and uh, I got the piece of paperwork of all the stuff they did the engine stats showing they, well, they checked over the engine, they winterized it, that everything's looking good. Um, have a new tire, one of them had a leak. So, I mean, this thing is good to go. We've taken care of it, we've done upgrades. We did all this stuff for ourselves. We weren't intending on selling it, but I came across a boat that I couldn't, uh, it's exactly the same boat, two feet bigger. So, I love these boats. These boats are great. You will not be disappointed with this boat. And uh, the only reason we're selling it is because I upgraded two feet bigger. So, absolutely nothing wrong with this boat. Love this boat, and uh, you will be a uh, happy person if you buy this boat. So give me a call if you got any questions.